All right. So in the championship match, you guys go down zero games to two. What's that like in that moment? I think anybody, you know, somebody who is watching from the couch is like, this does not look good. But obviously there's there's a path to, um, you know, making a, a comeback and pulling it out. But like, what's the energy like that on the team, on the bench? What are you guys saying to each other in that moment? Well, besides stay hot. <laughs> um, well, we, uh, I think Rachel and Anna lost for the first time all weekend. And like, I thought played well and Jackie and Jade played, played very well. Andre and I got down big. I switched over to the left at like after we were down and I was actually, I was feeling really good from the left mm -hmm. towards the end of that match. I was feeling it. And so we, <laughs> but we lost. And so we were putting our lineup out first. We put out Anna and Andre mm -hmm. and I, I just like from the start of, of that match, I, I was just saying, guys, I want a, f uh, a freaking uh, mixed match. Like Rachel and I had been bawling out and like, I knew that they had a very, very good chance of, of beating um, Christian and, uh, and Jackie. And I thought that Rachel and I on paper were, were pretty big underdogs, but like, we just wanted to, we wanted to play. Right. And so uh, there were definitely some, there were definitely, it definitely wasn't a freaking mixed match that I was saying, but that entire match, I was just saying, get us a, get us a mixed match. Cause I knew we go to a dream breaker. We are big favorites. Like mm -hmm. all we have to do is claw it back. Right. But I don't know. What, how did you, how did you feel in that O2 moment when, on, or when Andre and I get down pretty big, like, I don't know. What'd you think, Rach? The mountain definitely was getting taller. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like we it was like getting I was like oh okay um but when they put Jackie and Christian I thought for sure it was going to be Riley and Jade against them so when they put Jackie and Christian I was like I definitely think they can get one on the board and I was feeling I don't know if you remember I look at you and I'm like I'm feeling crazy like I'm feeling super fiery right now like <laughs> and I told him like three times I think like so I was really just really getting ready to go out there because I think obviously I know who people are, but I know like it doesn't sink in yet because I haven't played Riley Newman. I haven't played like I haven't really felt anything. So I'm just like, I'm just going to try to like, I just was really excited that I was going to get to go against them because I'm kind of just like a wild card. And if I'm going crazy, like it goes by super fast. So maybe they won't catch on quick enough. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's almost like, it's almost like to your advantage that, uh, you know, you're, you're sort of, sort of green, right? It's, it's yeah. essentially like nothing to lose only upside, especially in that moment when you're, when you're down to Zane, what do you, do you think there was like an advantage to, especially like, you know, when Rachel goes up against Riley to Riley, not really knowing Rachel's game? I mean, I, I, th I think so. Yeah. I, I would have guessed though, that not knowing Riley's game is more, is more difficult, right? Yeah. So tennis players all sort of play a little bit the same. Like you can, you sort of have tennis strokes. You can kind of read where a tennis player is, mm -hmm. is going. Right. So I would think in a matchup between Riley, never seeing Rachel before and Rachel, never seeing Riley before. I think that Riley has the, the advantage in that. Cause his, his game is more unconventional. Rachel's game is like, she's going to get a high forehand and put you in a coffin. <laughs> like, um, but didn't work out that way. That's for sure. She is Rafa's daddy and she's Riley's daddy too. <laughs> yeah. And our, right, our podcast episode is going to be called call her daddy. What, what What's this daddy talk? Can I, can we get, can we get to the bottom of this? Is just like you felt that in the moment in that interview. And then now we're just, we're, we're, we're here on with it. It's a thing now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. She's got t-shirts made and everything. Yeah. Um, well, Rafa decided he was going to talk a little shit after they beat us in, in men's doubles. So after we won the match and Rachel, she was like going behind Rafa. She was hitting Rafa. She just lit up Rafa in mixed. And so, you know, we get Cameron to, to do the interview and I'm like, well, Rafa, Rafa punched first. He threw the first punch. Right. Wait, what so, exactly did he say? 
he said, well, he, he said some of the same stuff. He's like, I've partnered up with Zane, a lot of respect there, but boy, do I like him playing that right. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, all right, Rafa. And so I started out the same way. I'm like, played with Rafa, a lot of respect, but Rachel is his daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of the questions, because we put up some Instagram posts and stuff to get some questions for you, Rachel. A lot of them had to do with um, what it was like raising Rafa as a child, um, you know. Uh, was he, he, a good he was actually a really good kid? sport about it. Uh, he was funny about it. So we can say that stuff because we're we're buddies with Rafa. Like you've you've played a bunch with Rafa or hit hit a bunch with him too, haven't you? Yeah, we've played um, two tournaments so far, and we, I mean, I don't know about hit a bunch. I don't think I've ever played against him to be honest until that match, and then we're actually playing again together at in Vegas next weekend. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we're all buds. I saw. Yeah, he he was a really good sport about it. Little mother mother son duo there. That'll be fun. <laughs> um, so I remember draft day. We were we were all on the phone, um, discussing the the fourth pick, and I was like, I play great with Susanna Barr. I would love to play with Susanna Barr. I don't know anything about about Rachel, like. I, I just I don't know, mm-hmm. um, but when you get picked, didn't weren't Jackie and Jade the ones that told you that you got yes. picked? Yes, I didn't know where anything was going on. I didn't know anything, and I'm just like I was kind of on Twitter trying to follow, but I did not know what was going on. And then I get a text from um, Johnny like we can get you i'm so sorry and i was like oh crap um i guess i'm not going premiere and then like i get a text from jackie and she was like dude let's go and i was like what happened and she was like you got drafted and then as soon as she said that anna start and it was calling me but it was just really funny because jackie was the one who told me <laughs> so had that not happened did you assume you know challenger challenger at best like when you find out yeah. you're getting yeah like what, what what you're thinking around that about like where I would have gone if Anna didn't pick me. Yeah. Yeah. Like what, what were you anticipating? I was thinking, I mean, I was hoping I would get in challenger. I had talked to a few premier people, premier teams. And then I was talking to a few challenger who I it made it seem like they were going to pick me, but, um, and I don't know where I would have went. Like, I really don't, I can't say. Wait. So, so what's that like ahead of actually being drafted when you're sort of like having preliminary feel it out conversations with with different gms and owners like how how does that work do you just get like a text and you hop on the phone and they sort of yeah. say yeah yeah so what i did to a few um i just knew i kind of had to market myself um because no one really knew who i was at that point and i was like i gotta get to work a little bit at least make a connection um so they can hear my voice and talk to me a bit but i reached out to a few premier teams and um the ones that responded back I got hopped on the a call with and um, we spoke for a little bit. And then the challenger ones, um, a couple reached out to me and it was more texting with them. I also spoke to Richie in person um, in Newport, um, the tournament before the draft. So um, that's how that works. But it's just like really, it's hard to tell, like it's hard to gauge. Like I had, I was just trying to sell myself and I was like, I knew someone was going to have to take a chance if Premier got me. I said, it's going to be a huge investment and chance and i was like i don't know if anyone's willing to take that chance but I, that's i knew it was going to be like that if i got picked on premiere all right if you're in pickleball you know takea they're everywhere it's no secret that staying hydrated is key to playing your best just ask riley newman who is always sporting his takea water bottle guy literally brings it everywhere uh from regulating your body temperature to keeping your cognitive function sharp on the court hydration is your best teammate and what better way to keep the precious H2O by your side than the Takea's innovative bottles, known for their best lid ever, which can keep water cold for over 26 hours. Perfect for the heat. Don't just take our word for it. Experience the Takea difference today. Visit TakeaUSA.com to find the perfect water bottle for you. That's T-A-K-E-Y-A-U-S-A.com.